Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Yeah, what's going on? Pizza delivery? Nope. This is uh, a Kam- a Kamala supporter going door to door, knocking doors, getting votes. You know, it's Camston area, huh? Yeah. And they need all the help they can get. Yeah, but uh, he knocked on the wrong dude, door. No, that's a Latino. He knocked on the wrong door. Yeah? Yeah, watch this. Get a dog. Hello. What up, dog? My name is Alberto. We came from Culinary Union Workers. Uh huh. I knock at the doors and try to endorse votes for Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what I think of a what I think of a Kamala support. That's what I think of. Yeah, someone that doesn't shouldn't be here. <laughs> You think he's? You he think culinary worker? So somebody gave him a job. He's a cook. Yeah, he's probably legal though. He's probably what? Legal? I don't think so. <laughs> what do you say? I'm knocking the doors. <laughs> Man, it's funny, but it's so infuriating. Like you just got that country. What makes you think someone's gonna listen to you? <laughs> Sound like that? We're knocking the doors. <laughs> And that dude was absolutely right. He put his foot down. <laughs> he said enough. They have let millions of undoc- un- undocumented people in our country. Right. Right? And this dude shows up to the door talking about, hey, I'm Camston Aries looking for votes for Kamala Harris. <laughs> it's like, it's almost like it's a... It's com- like a slap in the face. It's like a Saturday night sketch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like something you will see on South Park or something. Yeah. Yeah, English is definitely not his first language. I mean, that is pathetic. Yeah, it's weird because at least send American citizens to people's house. I mean, at least you would send somebody that can sit down and actually carry a conversation in English. He he knows probably the words he spoke. That was it. (laughs) He memorized his script. He ready to go. (laughs) Well, uh, it's another video on my show. You, you got somebody else knocking the door? No, 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 you could tell that was a white guy because white people's hip to this stuff was going on in our country. All these people they let into our country illegally, right? Yeah. And now he gets a knock on the door. <laughs> hey, we're knocking doors for Kamala Harris. He said we're knocking the doors. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just seems unreal. But here's another video. They're having uh, um, some kind of event for Kamala mm-hmm. up in Detroit. Yeah. Um, it's like our early voting event. Oh, yeah? And they call this guy out. And when I think of a guy supporting Kamala Harris, this is what I think of. Hmm. Check this dude out. All right. Hello, Detroit. How are y'all doing? All right. <laughs> My name is Maxine Kirkpatrick. I am a born and bred Michigander, a fellow on the Michigan One campaign, and president of Students for Harris Walsh at Wayne State University. I'm not sure what it is. This will be the first time I ever get to vote in a presidential election, and I truly cannot think of a more important race to cast my first ballot in. Um, Michigan, we have to bring this home. Um, On one side, we have Kamala Harris. Someone who has spent her whole life fighting for the people, who is running to build an opportunity economy. We have to bring this home. to bring down costs for us and to protect our fundamental rights. On the other, you have Donald Trump. Yeah. He was more extreme than he has ever been, and he's only running to get power for himself. Yeah. As a student and a first-time voter, I am truly frightened by a world with Donald Trump in charge. Yeah. His extreme Project 2025 would throw our country into chaos. It would ban abortions nationwide. It would eliminate the Department of Education. It would gut the power of labor unions, scrap the Affordable Care Act, and give Trump nearly unlocked power to do whatever else he wants to do. My future and the future of students are at stake. But 
we have another choice. And that right. is why I'm so excited to have passed in my ballot for the first time already. If we do the work over the next 17 days, we can send Kamala Harris to the White House. Kamala Harris has brought home real results for Michigan, and that's what, what she'll do if she wins in November. She will never let a national abortion ban law here in Michigan. She will always fight for our jobs, and she's working to forgive billions in student loan debt. But What's up with most mouth? of all, she has given us a vision for a bright future. <laughs> One that leaves behind the hate and division of Donald Trump. Once and for all, and charts a new way forward for All that stuff she said was a lie. All that stuff was lies. Kamala's been fighting for Michigan jobs. <laughs> I think, um... That's a female. I'm not sure what that was. It's that's so, a female. That's in, it's so androgynous, I can't tell. It's female on testosterone. She's got a hair off. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I know these people now. So uh, from the moment I saw her, I said, oh, okay, I know what's going on. Just shaved the head off. It's got a little testosterone yeah, going on. That explains divorce. Yeah. It probably explains all that cotton mouth she got. No, I don't think she had cotton mouth. I think um, like she's got a dental problem going. No, she got dry. No, she got dry mouth, Key. Huh? She's got dry mouth. She's nervous. Yeah, cotton mouth. But when I think of Kamala supporters, I think of those two. Knocking the doors and young yeah. people to just first time voting. Because I was the same way when I was 18, 19. Yeah. I, was, I always voted Democrat because I, was, I thought the other side was racist. You can definitely pick them out of lineup. They all have the same characteristics and attributes. <laughs> all of them are nuts. <laughs> Show's over. We're going, hey, man, we're going to go out and knock in some doors. <laughs> Get some Republican votes. Uh, knocking doors. We're knocking the doors. 